In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your <clears throat> spirit. Good morning and welcome as we are privileged through the goodness of television to celebrate this Holy Eucharist on this 14th Sunday of Summer Ordinary Time. Welcome to all. And as always, we take a moment to prepare ourselves to celebrate our Mass as we call to mind and acknowledge our sins. Let's open our hearts to God's forgiving grace. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to spread peace to all people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us from our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, Amen. and on and earth, earth peace to, to people, people of goodwill. Good will. We, we praise, praise you. you, we bless you, we, we adore, adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only, only begotten, begotten Son, Son. Lord, Lord God, Lamb, Lamb of God, God Son, Son of the of Father, Father. You take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world have, have mercy, mercy on us. You take, you take away, away the sins of the world, receive, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O oh God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. <clears throat> Thus says the Lord, Rejoice with Jerusalem, and be glad because of her. All you who love her, exalt, exalt with her. All you who are mourning over her, oh, that you may suck fully of the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breasts. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over Jerusalem like a river, and the wealth of all nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings, you shall be carried in her arms, and fondled in her lap, as a mother comforts her child. So will I comfort you. In Jerusalem, you shall find comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bodies flourish like the grass. The Lord's power shall be known to his servants. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all, Let all the, the earth, earth cry out, out to God, God with, with joy. joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all, Let all the, the earth, earth cry out to God, God with joy. joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God. His tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let, Let all the earth cry out to God, God with joy. joy. He has changed the sea into land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let, Let all, all the, the earth cry out to, to God, God with joy. joy. Hear now all who fear God while I declare what he has done for me. Blessed be God, who refused me not, my prayer or his kindness. Let all, Let all the, the earth, earth cry out to God, God with joy. joy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, may I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. For neither does circumcision mean anything, nor does uncircumcision but only a new creation, peace and mercy, be to all who follow this rule and to the Israel of God. From now on, let no one make troubles for me, for I bear the marks of Jesus on my body. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers and sisters. Amen. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let the peace of Christ control your hearts. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, the Lord appointed 72 others, and whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, A the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Had this little annoying, raspy voice this morning, so apologize to you who get to listen to me and hopefully my voice will sustain as we continue with this wonderful gift of Holy Eucharist this morning. Such a privilege always, always to do so. Beginning my ninth year this last Friday as Director of the Apostolate for Persons with Disabilities and as Pastor of St. Clair of Assisi Parish in Monroe. How time flies, doesn't it? How quickly it seems to pass. And every day it grows to be even a more wonderful gift for me to be involved in these ministries, in this priesthood, in these many ways to connect with you in, you know, in your homes, in the health care facilities, wherever you happen to be, and giving us this opportunity to celebrate Eucharist. What a gift. And so we continue in this summer ordinary time. And as you perhaps remember, oftentimes I think of ordinary time as being kind of this ongoing school of discipleship, that we continue to, to listen to God's Word, we continue to grow this relationship with the Lord, we continue to put into practice how the Lord continues to teach us and what it means to be disciples, it kind of just the ordinary rhythms and activities of our everyday lives that our faith, our discipleship is just part and parcel of exactly who we are and how we are in this world. And so, beginning with this, the goodness of this um, season of, Ju or this month of July, as we hear in the readings, the, the call of the disciples, but also in this morning's gospel, the sending of them. And as Jesus did so, it was interesting that they've moved, these disciples have moved from, from being kind of like apprentices to now being practitioners, that the Lord was sending them out. And a powerful little metaphor that he used in doing so was that, you know, I love you a lot, but this isn't always going to be easy. But yet it's going to be wonderful to be proclaimers of the kingdom of God, that I'm sending you as lambs among wolves think of that, lambs among wolves. I think a lot of times with a lot of our sports teams that whatever, whatever sport it might be, isn't that true? My athletic team mascots tend to, to garner names like the Lions or the Tigers or the Rams or the Timberwolves or the Pirates or lots of those. Sometimes they're, they're more about our professions like the Packers and the Cheesemakers and the Vikings or, or, or whatever it might be. But it's interesting that we kind of look to our heroes many times as being very powerful, very strong, and very self-reliant. So Jesus says, I'm sending you not as wolves, but as lambs among wolves. And that realization that, again, 
that being a Christian, being a disciple, being a proclaimer of the Lord isn't always easy to do. And so he said, did a couple of things and assured them that even though the image of a lamb is pretty docile and they don't have a lot of innate protective abilities, all those kind of things, he said what they do have is the shepherd. What they have is the promise of the Lord to always, always be with them to the power of the Holy Spirit in their lives, whatever they may be about as, as disciples. The second thing is that he gathered them and they send, he sent them out two by two. 35 pairs in the gospel of this day. And one of the, the second great gifts of our discipleship is that we have each other. And what, how important it is for us to kind of lean on each other and to be with each other as people of faith. And such a support, but also, isn't it true how important it is to, to be able to bump elbows with, to, to pray together, to share the gospel, whatever it might be with people of like faith and like intentionality. There's a great strength. And so the whole community of the church is meant to be, wherever we happen to be, is to have that wonderful goodness. And so we are called to be proclaimers of God's kingdom. Again, as practitioners, to, to take that word that you and I continue to grow into and we hear and bring it to other people, no matter what the situation might be. To be like the Lord it certainly was, breaking into this world, to be light in the midst of darkness many times. The darkness of sin, the darkness of, of uh, grief and sadness or difficulties or child, whatever it might be, that we can be a light of hope and encouragement and goodness and as we live truly with the assurance of the shepherd with us that we bring that same message to other people and again jesus had that interesting kind of image is that in the, the gospel too is that sometimes people are going to reject what we have to offer sometimes people are going to choose to go different pathways and so he uses that image of mm, sometimes just shake the dust from your feet in other words, not to dwell on what we think might be failures, but always trusting, always trusting that as instruments of the Lord, we're called to plant seeds, the seeds of God's goodness and God's word, and leave that to God of how they might germinate in somebody's life. I certainly hear that a lot of times with parents who kind of mourn and grieve and have upsetness sometimes of their children who they thought they had done the best they could to bring them up in the church in the face. Children may choose different pathways, which is disconcerting, but yet that assurance that we trust God is God's really in charge and God is always with them. And so as we celebrate the giftedness of Eucharist this morning as we celebrate in this great mass together as disciples of the Lord, that as you and I continue to become the body of Christ, become disciples each and every day, again, we have that assurance that the Lord is right with us, nourishing us, strengthening us, loving us, empowering us in so many ways. So may we continue in just the way we speak and act every single day to put our lives in God's hands and to trust that the Lord will use us well to bring his love and goodness to others. And so my friends, let us profess this great faith of the church. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of, of heaven and earth, of all, of all things, things visible and invisible. invisible. I, I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, Christ the, only the only begotten, begotten Son, Son of God, God born, born of the Father before all ages, God, God, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, God. begotten not, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, 
And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us approach our Heavenly Father with confidence, offering our prayers of need. That the Lord will bless and give spiritual wisdom to Pope Francis, our Bishop Donald Hying, and all ministers of faith who joyfully proclaim the gospel in love of Jesus to all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all public officials, that they will work to protect the welfare of the weak and the dignity of all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our brothers and sisters who are in need physically or spiritually and those who care for them know and believe that the Lord is there in such times of need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those residing in assisted care environments and those with challenges that make it difficult to leave their homes, that our support and prayers, they recognize and respond to their particular call and lead others to Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have gone to their eternal rest, especially Michael P. and Helen C. Bindle, being remembered at this Mass, that they may rest in peace and in the light of God's presence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us offer our personal intentions to our loving God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for hearing our petitions today that we offer through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Thank you. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Amen. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirits upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Donald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, the power and, and the, the glory, glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Please minister his word of peace to those who are near to you. Peace of Christ peace be with you. Oh, thank you. Peace of Christ be with you, Michael. Peace of Christ be with you, Sebastian. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. <clears throat> Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, <clears throat> we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Amen. So our Mass has ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our presider this morning, in the celebration of the 14th Sunday of Ordinary Time, in the Sunday of Discipleship, was Monsignor Larry Bakke, the Director of the Apostolate for Persons with Disabilities of the Diocese of Madison, and Pastor of St. Clair of Assisi Parish in Monroe. I am Paul Margala, and my sons Sebastian and Michael were our acolytes. We are members of St. John the Baptist Parish in Wanakee. We are pleased again to be part of the Apostolate Ministry for the Television Mass. Our faithful friend, Sister Bernadette Prochaska of the Franciscan Sisters of Perpetual Adoration provided our Ministry of Music. As she has for many years, Michelle Guyette provided the Ministry of Interpretation, which with closed captioning by the Apostolate, enables our deaf community and those of us who are hard of hearing to share in this worship opportunity. We continually to be blessed by the generosity and social concern for persons with disabilities of all faiths, of the owner, management, and staff of WISC-TV that make it possible for the Apostolate to bring you this televised time of faith and worship. Most importantly, we thank you for sharing your faith life with us. Make it a beautiful week, and may the grace and the Spirit of our Lord be with you.